Hey there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Pritam. In this video, we will be talking with you about how you can perform boolean operation in PTC Creo Parametric. So what we will do, uh, we will try to perform boolean operation with two different methods because you know there is a new boolean method that just came with more recent version of Creo Parametric. But this option always existed with PTC Creo. So we will see both the method, the newer one and the older one. Okay. So let's get started. First of all, what you got to do is you need to open obviously PTC Creo. Then here you can click on new. Then here you can give your model a name. Let's say we are, you know, designing a knife or maybe a tool. So what I will do is I will give it a name. Let's say I'm going to give it a name a tool now i'm going to uncheck this option which says use default template because i am considering that you haven't defined the template in config.pro now from here what you can do you can choose your favorite uh, template template is nothing but the predefined or pre-configured unit system so in my case i would like to go with millimeter newton second part and solid with absolute accuracy so based on your need you can go with other unit system that is being followed in your area or that you prefer for example if you want to go with inch system then you can choose inch pound second one instead of millimeter newton second but let's choose this one and now i'm going to click ok and here we go guys here we have bare minimum model with three datum plane and a coordinate system now um, I'm going to just use a revolve tool and I will just quickly making this basic tool because our main intent is to show um, the capability of uh, how we do boolean operation. So let's say this tool shape look like this and the part that I'm going to draw now below this line is going to be a handle kind of. So um, just give me a moment, I'm going to complete this. So this part going to be of metal. Now let's give it a center line. Okay. Now let's revolve it. So let's say the metallic part look like this and we can give it a nice round here and here as well okay so this part let us assume is a walking area and this part we have you know uh, casted or maybe turned for handle now uh, so this one i have made so now in modern ptc creo what we can actually do we can create a new body so we do not have to create a new assembly but we can create a whole new body inside the same part so which gives you flexibility to um, you know add another component inside same file for example this tool is made up of a two material or two component for example the first component is the metallic part and the second component is made up of plastic so let's just see this method first so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make an extrude so which will start from here and maybe this time also i can use this revolve that will look quite awesome now i will just revolve it around so it looked quite weird i would say but but here you know i'm just trying to show you how we can perform boolean operation now here you can see uh, this revolve tool is inside body tool because i have defined um, body tool just before this revolve so let's apply some color so that we can differentiate between the metallic part and the plastic handle so um, before even we apply some color let's apply some material 
for that let's just click here on design item and let's click on this body and here we go guys we can see there are two bodies um body one which is this metallic part and body two which is this handle which can be of a uh, wooden or maybe of made up of plastic let's just make a right click on it and click on assign material and here uh, let's click on other let's just choose plastic and i have made this thing by abs so now what i did is i defined the material for body 2 as abs so if i explore it you can see in case of body 1 let's define material here as well now here we can see we have successfully defined material for both and let's differentiate them visually as well So in this way guys we can define the color of it and if we remember this part is completely filled which means that there is no spacing in between now what we can do is we can perform boolean operation so let's click here on boolean operation now we require to choose the body which we want to modify now what we actually need to do is we need to have this kind of hole because in case of molding obviously this metallic part will push the material from here so let's select this part and the modifying body will be this one and now what we require to do is we need to select subtract and we also require to select keep bodies in case if you want to have both part together and in this way guys we have created this boolean operation and for the timing i'm just removing or hiding that body and let me just disable this um, setting and let's just see the section view of it so let's keep this one as here and here we go guys we can see how easy it was to perform boolean operation if you are using previous version of creo then for sure you may not find this method now we will see how to perform boolean operation in case if you have previous version of ptc creo so let's click here on new this time i'm going to choose assembly and let's adjust and check this option which is use default template and here i'm going to give it a name my file as tool now um here again i will be selecting millimeter newton second asm design and let's enable these planes now I'm going to click here on assemble and let's just view these parts. So let's assemble this main tool first and I would like to give the constraint as fix and let's assemble the tool handle as well. And here we go guys here we can see this handle is completely filled. So we require to perform boolean operation in case we require to subtract the plastic material which obviously we have to so that the part look more functional so i'm going to assemble it here now here we go guys here we can see we have completely assembled it now the next thing we require to do is to perform boolean operation okay so if i show you these parts separately it look completely filled and let me just create section view also and here we go guys it is completely filled let's just save it like this and i'm just going to deactivate the sectional view now we will see how to perform boolean operation in assembly in case of previous version for that you require to click here on component then component operation and here you will see boolean operation just click on that now again you require to select the modified model the part that going to be modified which is obviously this one and in case of boolean operation here i want to subtract so instead of selecting merge i will select cut 
and in case of modifying component obviously this will be the metallic part now hit ok and in this way guys we have successfully performed boolean operation you can just see this message here in the bottom okay so now what i'm going to do is let's go here in view and now we will go to this tool handle here we can see we have successfully performed this boolean operation and here we can see it so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you enjoyed it if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye